Oh, hello. Well, hey. It's good to see you. How are you, T-Bone? It's been a while since we met met yes. together. Yes, sir. It's been a long time. I'm so sorry to, I'm so sorry to have to be here. Oh, well, you know, it's good that you're here. Well, it's in such a, such a circumstance. Oh, everything is a little wild. Yeah, and things are getting kind of crazy out there, aren't they? No, they certainly are. It has not been this crazy since the, since the bird flu. Yeah, well, and what's going on with uh, with what's in the bird world right now? Well, what are they doing? the problem is that we're flying overhead and seeing everybody panic. Oh, yeah, I know. It's I'm f I've been hearing reports of everybody even... Even goldfinches, and you know they never tell the truth. No, they don't. They're, no. But there's reports of panic across the land from the humans. Yeah. Well, well. what, what do you suggest? What do you well, think? You're Mr. Um, Sergeant. Uh, what are you? Uh, well, my, my name is Sergeant. Sergeant. Sergeant Walter of the Eagle Grove PD, of okay. course. Yeah, okay. I'm not flapping around. Okay, all right. Watch um, uh, what we're what we're, what we're up against? What we're up against? Yes. What are we up against? Yeah, well, 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 something that we've never truly faced be before. Yeah. Now, no, 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 I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to spread panic. No. 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 No, no way. No. That's but I am here now. Look. Look me. But we have to educate people, right? We got to educate everybody. Are out you there. looking me? Look me in the eye. Okay. Jeez. Okay, I'm looking. All right. Well, well, the point of it is that we're trying to get everybody focused mm. on not panicking. Okay. But doing the right thing. Absolutely. What yes. are you doing? I, I wash my hands. I use hand sanitizer. I'm being cautious when I'm around everybody. Why? And I don't wash, put my hands in my face. Why? Well, because I don't want to. Well, no, that's not my question, but I got to, I got to. I got a just an interspecies question for you. Interspecies, okay. Well, you know, I was just talking on the bird line mm -hmm. to some of my friends, okay, associates. Right. What's up with all the toilet paper? Well, I, you know, I see. I mean, right. why is everybody flipping her hand about the toilet paper? <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> I, I, I'm not quite sure. I think the comfort. Factor of having that a lot of that around. Have you ever tried flapping your wings, going for a fly, and just pooping? Uh, I don't fly. Well, oh, <laughs> all right. But anyway, this is real serious. Now, everybody, pay attention. This is a public service announcement. Service. This is Sergeant. This is Sergeant Walter of Eagle Grove PD. All right, everybody. Who? Oh, all right, this is. A real serious, serious crisis. This is absolutely. I agree. Now, with you. this is now. We're not boot. We're not bird pooping around. No, we're not. No. Do you oh. want to tell them about it, or, or do you want me to tell them? I. Uh, I mean, you, you go ahead. No, and I'll tell. Something. I'll tell you because I am law enforcement, right. and everybody. All right, now look. We don't want big groups mm. together. That means too many mockingbirds on the line. No, can't have that. We no. can't have that. No, that's no. That's certainly not. not. Certainly not. No, no. no stretch them out. Yeah. <laughs> well, we also. Well, we can't. We can't be having it. We can't be singing the bird songs. We can't be singing no. the bird songs with big crowds. You know how sometimes. Well, because you know every every bird loves. A big old full tree of birds, all of the birds singing okay. together. Uh -huh. The thing is, if you we all fly to the same tree, spit on one another, and start to sing, we're gonna die. Yeah, that's true. Woo! That's true. Well, we got to be careful oh, when we're around other people. We should be and be kind. Well, kindness. Oh, oh it's number one. Don't right? even get me started. Yeah. Well, and then the toilet paper, we need to share, too. Well, right? I've been nesting with it for years. Yeah, yeah. You don't need toilet paper, though. You no, fly, but my you wife fly loves drop, it. My right? wife loves it in the nest. Oh, okay. So it's more of a... Well, and since everybody's hoarding it, it's uh -huh. a little... Come spring, 
<laughs> I don't even know. Now, but let's get back to the real point. Okay. okay. Everybody, everybody listen. Everybody take a second. This is serious. This is real. And I am just here to tell you, I am wanting everybody from the egg to the to the nest. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. To take it serious. Yeah, we have to. And well, you got. got well, yeah. Well, what's number got, thing? Number one thing we have to do. Well, first of all, you gotta wash your feathers. Okay. Well, hands for us humans. Right. Fine. Yeah. Well. Mm-hmm. Well, second of all, you gotta watch the rest of your feathers. Yeah. All of Having them. Make a, sure every feather. Or you should feather. clean yourself. Clean yourself. Yeah. Well. Well, in step two. Is don't hang out with anybody that's been flying around with dirties. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, okay, all right. Now, I'm not trying. Never have I ever, never have I ever been somebody that's been a racist. Mm. But I will say. Do you guys have that problem in the bird community? Well, I, all racism? I'm going to say here mm-hmm. is it might be a good time. For birds and bats to spend some time apart. Okay. Well, that's, that's all. That's all. Okay. That's, that's all the right. only thing. Okay. Right. Well, who knows? You we don't, don't want to start any. No, I'm just, bad, I'm just for. This you know, is all for public safety. Yes, absolutely. And you don't want to cause any kind of, you know, I race. Certainly yeah. do not. No, you don't want people to hate want each other for a certain uh, to skin color panic. or, uh, you know, feather. Bird feather. Yeah, or bat no. hair, you know. However, Bats. Okay. Well, uh, well, we're, we've got a video for you guys. Um, oh, it's real but, informative, and that's yes, why it's I'm a here. very informative video. It's uh, it's um, washing your hands, and everybody you know knows how to wash your hands. But we figure. But if you don't, and if you got feathers, just yeah. translate out, you know, into feathers. It's a little transitional, you know, it's from fine. feathers to it's skin. But it's pretty much the same thing, Walter. But you know, oh, we well, y'all tell me. Okay, All right, let's just go ahead. Okay, we'll go let's ahead and Come look on. at the video, and you guys can learn a little bit. It's a short little video, um, but we'll uh, we'll check it out. Let's see how we wash our hands properly. Wash our hands. Wet your hands with water. Apply soap. Rub your hands palm to palm, and wash the backs of both hands and in between your fingers. Then palm to palm with fingers interlocked. Okay, Clasp feathers. your hands together and rub and then clean around the thumbs too. Rub your fingertips in the palms of your hands and finish off with the wrists. Rinse your hands really well with water and dry them thoroughly with a paper towel. Use the towel to turn off the tap. Your hands are now clean. Well, well, that was very important. Yeah, as well yeah. as the bare That's basics. That's exactly how we've been doing it, right? I saw you doing it the other day. I've been flagging. Yeah. I've been, oh, well, you know, being in law enforcement, I've been well aware of the, of the cautiousness that we were going to have to step into. And I'm the, I had a little bit of foresight. I had a bird's eye view of what was coming. <laughs> right. Of course. So I've been prepared for some time. Yeah, yeah. Well, good. My good. Oh, mo, I know that everybody's going through some stuff, but my feathers are clean. Ooh, yeah. Yes, clean as a. Let me see that. Let me. Uh, yeah, I see that. I see you clean. That's clean enough. Okay. You don't believe? No, I believe. I'm you. clean. Well, okay. No, right now, another announcement. Okay. We got a whole lot of we stuff are... going on. This is that we don't have time. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. We're, we we're got another to video to show because people are people are getting sick. Yeah, and we want people to be safe and informed, right? That's Probably. what I'm here for. Yeah. I am a law enforcement. Is that my wing? It's my wait. Is that is that my w- my wing is moving? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, was, was that a problem before? Hey. Are, you, are you okay? Oh. Okay. All right. Now, All right. listen to me here. Okay. Listening. Now, everybody's going into a panic. Mm-hmm. But it's not, you don't have to. 
We need to we need to go to the professionals, is what you're right. Yes, yes. of course. Myself is a little professional law enforcement pigeon. Yes. And then I'm telling y'all that you need to chill out Bro, and yeah, it is. relax a little bit. I think take a breath. Yeah, yeah, and we're all gonna die. Be- no. No, 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 no. Be, that's no, not no. no, no, no. Well certainly that's how you cause panic. Oh well certainly no. We will not. I'll tell you one thing, not under my uh, not under my watch. We will not have no, pandemonium. No. 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 We have a pandemic. But we no got pandemic. a pandemic. Yes. Under my watch, we do right. in fact have a pandemic. Exactly. But, but we, we will be. not. I will not. We won't have pandemonium. No, we won't. No. Not at all. Well, um, why don't we hear from someone that's uh, a professional? I think you got another. I mean, I don't. Another I'm video not, here. I really don't know much about any of this stuff. No. I don't think you do because you study law, not science. Correct? I am a law enforcement professional, but I will tell you one thing that some people are not willing to do is say that they don't know. They don't have the answers, and I don't. But what and we everyone's will Everyone's trying do, to make up their own, right? And that's Yeah, that's yeah. true. And so what we're going to do right here. Yeah. Is we're gonna take a second. And we're gonna we're gonna listen to a real doctor, Doctor Paul Casey. Yeah. he's the chief okay. medical officer of a Rush. Was it? Of, Rush? Yes, of Rush yes. of Rush Medical Center, and he's the. We're gonna listen to him, and then when we come back. We're gonna be willing to take questions. Yeah, we can. Yeah, those will be fine. You guys, text us, call us. Yeah, I mean, I'm here. Yeah, he's here. I'm here. I work for the law. Hello, my name is Paul Casey. I'm the Chief Medical Officer here at Rush. Told and you. I just wanted to take a minute to address a few questions, a few common questions that have come up about this coronavirus or COVID-19 outbreak. Yep. So I'll start just with a general overview of coronavirus. So coronavirus is really the cause of many common colds. What's a little different about this novel coronavirus is it's a common cold to which a lot of us have not been exposed across the world. And that's why you're hearing about a lot of people getting sick with symptoms of coronavirus. So when our immune system hasn't been exposed to this before, it can cause symptoms. It causes us to get, in this case, the most common symptoms are upper respiratory symptoms. So same as a cold, Mm -hmm. fever, cough, congestion you might experience as well. And about one in five patients also develop some diarrhea with the coronavirus. Now, the great news is that the coronavirus is actually quite mild for the vast majority of people that get it. About over 95% of people that get the coronavirus will just have a cold and nothing more than really a cold. There are certain groups that we worry about that are a little more at risk for developing more severe symptoms. And that's specifically those that are over 60 years old, those that have some other diseases. So those that are over 60 with diabetes, with high blood pressure, with heart disease. That tends to be the group that is more likely to get sick from the coronavirus. But again, for the vast majority of people that we see with coronavirus, gonna feel like a cold. Even those that are seen here in the hospital would be discharged home for what we call home quarantine or to stay in their stay in their room, stay in their house so that they're not keep spreading it, themselves. Keep it in your nest. So it brings up another good question as to how do we prevent the spread of the coronavirus? And really, the great news here is that just like any virus, we have to go back to the basics. So the message we've been trying to carry forward, as did President Obama, is keep calm and wash your hands, right? Because these viruses, the Orphans. only way to contain these viruses is really a lot of hand hygiene. So anytime you're touching surfaces, it can be spread by contact. It can be spread by people coughing as well. So really important to do frequent hand washing to prevent passing this on. The one other piece that I wanted to touch on was the what our coronavirus here at Rush. So we have had, today is, I gotta get my dates together. I've been here an awful lot. So March 7th, uh, on Saturday, March 7th. We've had a single one case of coronavirus to date. There's been a number of patients that have come in that we screen as they come into the hospital and we've said, boy, this is a good enough story that we think we need to evaluate you to see is this the flu, which is far more likely the case. Um, About uh, 29 million people in America this year have had the flu, so far more likely to be flu. Or could this be the coronavirus? So we've had about 10 or so patients come through that we did that evaluation. In that evaluation, only one patient to date has actually had the coronavirus. That patient was seen in the emergency department. As I said, like most patients, he looked incredibly well just with cold symptoms. We tested him. 
he was actually sent home for that self-quarantine, came back later that night saying he was starting to not feel as well, so out of an abundance of caution, we put him up in our medical uh, isolation room upstairs on the, on the 10th floor and watched him up there for about a day or so. Throughout the entire time, I can tell you he was completely stable. He was sitting up texting uh, with family, texting on social uh, media, um, again, just with these cold symptoms. So we really played it just on the safe side as this was one of the first patients to come in. I think all indicators are that we're gonna see more cases likely in the Chicago area. The best things, again, we can do is really the hand washing, that self-isolation, you know, trying to, if you're having any symptoms, this isn't a time to come to work if you're having a fever at home. And the final thing I'd like to say is that we have set up a number of resources. Most importantly, we have our rush.edu coronavirus page, and that we are keeping up to date with both the latest resources as well as questions, any questions that have come up, we're trying to keep that page updated. So hopefully that caught you up with some of the information around the coronavirus, and we'll try to keep the communication going as much as we can. Oh, thank you. That was really good. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Well, that's the whole point is we want to decrease the panic and increase the public, uh, the public attention. Well, uh, we're, we're they just trying to, to don't the the uh, the facts. They want to know the facts. Facts. Yeah. Well, well from my birds' eye Some view. of the facts. There's there's a whole uh, a slew of you know facts out there, and there's a lot of people trying to. Um, That's right. You know, get the information out. And that's what we're doing, right? There we're you go, Mr. Bone. You are absolutely right. Well, thank you, Walter. Well, well um, thank you. Thank you so much, and everybody. Thank you so much for listening. This is important. Yes. Everybody should take it seriously. And now, don't serious. freak out. Yeah. But take it seriously. Yeah. We don't want any panic. But like the doctor said, you have to wash hands frequently. and, and, and Or feathers. Or feathers, and make sure that... Because uh, you know, also... You just be conscious of uh, other people and, I would and be, yourself too, you know. Just like you would if a normal cold. It's, I would it's be a normal rem- cold, cold. I would be remiss if I didn't mention that this particular coronavirus is zoonotic. Mm. Well, which, that which, means that, that mean? birds and cats and dogs and zebras can also get it. Oh, so we're all in this together. Yes, we are. We're 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 birds we're, of a feather that we flock. Together, right? or we uh, die. No, we. Yeah, it's. I mean, it I'm is life. Saying, it is life. I'm yeah. trying to keep a little bit of space between you and I. Yeah. Well. Oh man. Well, yeah. Well. Uh, we'll keep. And and we're open too to anyone that wants to chime in on any information. Well, I got a professional opinion for anybody. Yeah. What's that? Uh, professional opinion. Oh, what is it? Well, what's your opinion? Well, well, why don't I sing about it? Oh, you want to sing about it? Well, I think it'd probably be better if I sang about it. Oh, yeah, that's true. It just that's sounded true. like I, okay, okay, I don't okay. want to sound like I'm just a mean old bird. All right, well, let's let's do a little fun song. Okay. Well, this is okay. serious about it. Oh, where is it? Is that low? Like, you want to go there? Or... <clears throat> go ahead and do your, your yeah. little warm-up. Well, okay. Okay. Well... Times are changing And I mm, yes. I'm the bird To tell Blinded. you It's very good Let it Every human die That's so good We Oh, sorry, I probably shouldn't have said that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, but, but, but realize this is more for everybody out there that just needs to take care of themselves. Now listen to me. Yeah. Give me one more time. I'll okay. give you another try. Yeah, what do you, uh, what do you want to play? Any well, I think what she said. Well, all of Any for, suggestions out there with anybody that's uh, that's uh, tuned in? Uh, who do we have here? Nobody turned in. Yeah, we've got... Everybody's uh, turning out. Summerfield Pro. Uh, we got them. And uh, Estido... Um, wrapped S-T-B-O in blankets. It ought to be wrapped in blankets. Um, yeah. We covered in darkness. <laughs> it's 
He ought to be quarantined. This guy is a riot. I mean, I'm, I tell you. No, I'm a professional. Yeah, you are a professional. I'm a law enforcement bird. Yes, he is. That is true. He's in I charge work, of the whole unit I over am, at EGPD. So. I am the law. He is I the big am, man over there. So I am the law. Yes, he is. But uh, You want to sing again? Yeah, let's do another one. All right. I'm just, I'm seriously, okay. seriously, everybody, listen. All right. All right. Okay. What, are, got, we, what are we playing though? This is you. Oh well, you're the musician. Oh, that, well, I you're just, singing though. God will. I'm a corporal sergeant of the Eagle Grove Police Department. And I work in law enforcement. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Okay. Well, here we go. Let's do it. No, all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Flip your way. Flap and flap. Yeah, that's good. Be together in a flock, but not too close of a flock. If you are a duck or a water bird, probably not the best idea. To share the water that you share with your own turds. That was beautiful, Walter. My mother used to sing that to me. Oh, really? That's beautiful. Yes. She uh... she was a heron. Oh, okay. She I was adopted. Okay. Do you, did you ever know your real parents? I think they were pigeons. I mean... Obviously. What's obvious? Nothing. Um, so I think um, we should get some more information out to the people. Well, probably we should. Now, yeah. What is the first and foremost do you think we should start with now? I've been uh, doing the best I can as a public servant. Oh, I know, I know. You don't have to yell. <laughs> you don't have to yell. Well, I'm not. I'm just I'm trying to, to, try to do the right thing. That's what you did. Maybe you have to turn this down. Okay. Okay. Just yelling into the microphone. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I am I know everybody's worked up. We can we but this we all got stressful. Gotta, well, we got to relax. This is stressful. It is a stressful everybody's, situation. Everybody's whack. Yeah, I mean, everybody whole, is whack. Uh, the whole the whole flock. Yeah, of course. I mean, uh I mean, does anybody have any questions? No one has has any questions here. I um, got a question. Yeah, what's your question, Walter? How's everybody doing? It seems like everybody's fine here. I, I'm not flapping around. I'm just really wondering, how is everybody? Because I've been trying to hold a straight face, <laughs> but this has been really stressful for me. Okay, buddy, chill. All come right, on. all right, all right, all right. On, okay, on, all right, all right. Now well, I'm a sergeant, Walter. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Of this Eagle Grove PD, and I will not, I will not waver. I understand that. I understand that. Well, these it, are hard times. They are hard. Times. These are hard. And you're, you're in charge. I you know? am exactly in. I, I am in charge. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, so let's. And I care. Yeah, you Ooh. do. I can Ooh. tell you care. You got to You got to go. I to, care. Okay. I care. I know. Well, it's time to wrap it up. I think because I gotta take my. You. You what? You okay? No. What's wrong? Well, I just got, I just received a message. What, what's that? What's that? Oh, it came in on a pigeon foot. Oh, well, yeah, well I didn't see the pigeon coming well, in here. Well, you own it. Oh, only well, I, I guess you're it. the professional. We, we are pigeons. Yeah, pigeon professionals. Well, I just got a message well, that said, my mama's got the flu. Yep. That's terrible. No, it's really bad. Yeah. And that's why everybody don't make jokes. No, that's no, 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 that's don't terrible. make jokes. Okay, well, um She was flying. Mm -hmm. She was flying across the ocean. Mm hmm And she stopped to rest on a carnival cruise. Oh well, we know about those. Yeah. She flapped around too long. It was her own damn fault. Uh, well, you know. 
But I now mean, it's not really her fault. I mean, it's well, she it's chose no one's fault. Wrong and blaming boat. other people is not what we should wrong be doing. Wrong boat, about. Walter. We shouldn't be blaming other people. That's absolutely right. I'm sorry yeah. about that. And everybody I'm keeps just, blaming everybody, everybody else. Everybody gets so. emotional. Yes. Everybody's, everybody's got their wrong. breaking point and their 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 feathers in a bunch. Right. Oh, my feathers are in a in a feather. Right. I know. I see that, buddy. But. Uh, what do we got to do? There's information out there we we can share, though, isn't there? Well, we shared a lot of it. Yeah. And also, I'm available 24-7, yeah. all feathers around. Do you want to uh, give out a phone number? Or? Yes. Oh, yeah. Do you have a phone no, number? No, I don't want to give you my phone number. Yeah, there's a lot of people if watching. You, so. if, you Google, if you Google pigeon police, that yeah. won't work. No. Okay. I don't... Well, should we wait until... You want to take a break and then watch the video? Because I've, I think it's important for people well, to Well, we've got to keep a vigilance, and we will not right. stop until... Exactly. Uh, until, you know, we pass out. Well, I don't want to... I don't, I don't think it's... We, we just keep going, but we don't, we're not going to pass out. We're not? No. I don't... I don't no, all right. We shouldn't. Uh, well, oh, good. Okay. Well, but if well, we I mean, you heard the doctor. Who, who, he just told us. Well, I talked to that doctor myself. And oh, I, I still... F- <laughs> Everybody, listen. Don't get paranoid and don't get crazy. Yeah, it's going to be fine. Yeah. Everything is going to be all we gotta, right. We got we to gotta stick in this together. Together. Right. Birds of a feather. feather. Yes, exactly. We no, work together. Time. One right? more time with me. Words birds of, of a feather. Birds of a feather. Let me, let's do it again. One Sorry, more. I messed it up. Yeah, come on now with okay. me now. All right. Birds, birds of, of a feather. feather. Yeah. All right, that's so good. Everybody, yeah. thank you. Yes. Thank you so yes. much. Oh, we got, oh, we got uh, Jason here. Um, Pigeon Police. He just... He just said, Pigeon Police, ha ha. Yes. So what do you got to say to what that? In, are, you, are you calling because it's yeah, no, in, look. Are you in trouble? Look. look or this, do you look, need help? Look at my phone. I can't see your phone. I'm sure. Oh, look, look at that. Right he is. Yeah. See? Right, there right there he is. Oh. <laughs> okay, buddy. <sighs> well, you got you to be, you It's know, good to have you here. It is, it's great to have you here. Is it, Wait, me? Yeah. You well, I got so yeah. much work to do in crime to fight. No, I know that. So I'm such a busy flapping. So well, we'll we'll come back though, right? I'm gonna, well, I yeah, gotta. Of course, we don't have a choice. We gotta get through it together. Yeah, we're just gonna stay here and yeah. keep showing you guys well, some right. information about uh, sure. different things. We're gonna we're gonna get out of here and come back real quick and show you a uh, an informative video on what all this is. So that's true. All that's, right. Very so, good. Walter, let's play him out. Let's get out here and you want to just yeah, do a little play video on our way out. No, we're just gonna we'll whoa, play him out. Whoa. When there's sick people and sick birds, we gotta stick together. Stick together, yeah. When birds are sick. And people are sick. We gotta stick together. We gotta stick together. You've been practicing, haven't you? Practicing what? You're you're singing. Well, this is a rare opportunity for me because I usually, as I told you, I work in law enforcement. It's a very boring job, mostly. Oh, I, know. I know, I understand. But I uh, was in the Glee Club when I was in a uh, bird cop school. Hmm. When was that? Ooh. When was birds? Ooh. Okay. Well, that's what I was. What I don't want. Don't want to give my age up. Oh, I I'm an you. old bird. I get you. I get you. My feathers used to, yeah, my feathers used to shine with the green and pink and purple, but now they're just gray. Yeah, I see that. But you know, we all get old. I used to hang out just like the rest of them underneath the subway stops 
Hey, Walter, let me ask you a question. Yeah, okay, go ahead. I mean, you're you're older, so are, are I'm you, an old bird. Yeah, are you worried about that at all? Well, I'm, what I'm real worried about is the youngsters. The little youngins, the little flip floppers. You worry about the youngsters? Look at well, you. Well, I've, I've lived... How and, humble is that? That's great. I've lived and learned, and I feel like if it... If there's going to be somebody to take it before these poor little youngsters, well, then yeah. it's starting to all be me. My life and my, my whole flapping existence mm. is to, uh, to serve and protect. Uh-huh. Well, good for you, man. Yes, good well, I might die. Because I'm an old bird. Okay, well... Hey everybody, we're gonna come back and uh, Walter's got more to show you guys. I absolutely He's... do. We're gonna be keeping an eye on everything. All of, we have got everything going for us. Absolutely. And we got some more informative videos and we're gonna be doing this all week. Um, and we're kinda locked in with everybody else here too, I guess. So oh, we're, yeah. we're gonna, yeah, that's right. we're gonna give you some information well, about everything and hopefully we can get some phone calls from people. What do you think? Yeah, absolutely. But first, we're gonna we're gonna cut to another video because because why? Well, because we're gonna have a little more information. Now, I want to make sure I am the law enforcement. Now, I just right. think one more informatory video okay. might be helpful, and then right. we'll see what happens after that. Cool, Mister Bone. All right. All right. All right. Oh God. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's move into it. All right. Let's go. By now, you've probably heard of COVID-19, or coronavirus disease discovered in 2019, which is responsible for a global pandemic. Thus far, the main country affected has been China, but it spread to a number of other countries around the world to a varying degree. The virus was initially referred to as the 2019 NCOV, or the 2019 Novel Coronavirus, and was informally called the Wuhan Coronavirus. Wuhan. The World Health Organization named the disease COVID-19 because it doesn't refer to a geographical location, an animal, a person, or a group of people, all of which can lead to stigma. They also wanted to make it pronounceable and related to the disease, which is not an easy task. The virus was officially named SARS-CoV-2, or Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus 2, because it's genetically very similar to the SARS coronavirus, which was responsible for, well, the Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, or SARS, outbreak in 2002. So, SARS-CoV-2 causes COVID-19. Wow. Now, coronaviruses that circulate among humans are typically benign, and they cause about a quarter of all common cold illnesses. But occasionally, coronaviruses that circulate in an animal reservoir mutate just enough to where they're able to start infecting and causing disease in humans, if they're given an opportunity. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. In 2002, SARS was a coronavirus that hopped over from bats to civets, which is a cat-like mammal, and then to over to humans. And in 2012, there was MERS, which was a coronavirus that hopped over from bats to camels a few decades ago and then circulated among camels for quite some time before eventually infecting humans. Humped around. COVID-19 most likely also started with bats. But this time, the intermediate host was probably a pangolin, an animal that looks like a cross between an anteater and an armadillo. That's based on the fact that scientists identified a coronavirus in pangolins that's a 96% genetic match to SARS-CoV-2. Now you got me, buddy. Sadly, pangolins are heavily trafficked around the planet, largely because people believe that their scales have healing properties. And because they're moved around the world rather than just left in the wild, there are ample opportunities for a coronavirus to go from a pangolin to a human. Like they're making a sick. As of February 11th, 2020, there have been 43,103 cases of COVID-19 and 1,018 deaths, with a fatality rate of 2.4%, according to the World Health Organization. The vast majority of cases and deaths have occurred in China. For a little perspective, the 2002 SARS outbreak resulted in 8,098 cases and 774 deaths, so the fatality rate was around 9.6%. Oh 
And the 2012 MERS outbreak resulted in 2,494 cases and 858 deaths, bringing the fatality rate to 34%. Finally, for the 2014 Ebola outbreak, which was granted not due to a coronavirus, there were 28,639 cases and 11,316 deaths. Oh the fatality rate was a whopping 40%. Whopping. At a microscopic level, coronaviruses are single-strand positive sense RNA viruses with protein spikes on their surface that look a little bit like a crown under a microscope. In what? fact, corona is Latin for crown. Oh. <laughs> Besides just looking majestic, these spikes allow the virus to invade cells lining the respiratory tract and lungs. After binding, the coronavirus enters and takes over the cellular machinery to make more and more copies of itself so it can spread to the surrounding cells and get into the mucus. Oh, that sounds terrible. Sometimes the infection is mild, and some people don't develop any symptoms at all. For others, they can develop symptoms that range from pretty mild, like fever, cough, and shortness of breath, all the way to serious problems like pneumonia. Severe lung damage can cause acute respiratory distress syndrome, or ARDS, which occurs when the lung inflammation is so severe that fluid builds up around and within the lungs. The severe infection can cause septic shock, which happens when the blood pressure falls dramatically, and the body's organs are starved for oxygen. ARDS and shock are the main cause of death for people with the infection, and this is more likely to occur in those over the age of 60, smokers, and people with previous medical conditions like hypertension. I know we're supposed in addition to, to causing panic, disease, coronaviruses can spread quickly. Usually the virus spreads when people cough or sneeze, and tiny droplets containing the virus are released. These droplets can land on another person's mouth, nose, or eyes, and that allows the virus to enter a new person. The virus can also be found in a person's stool, and in rare situations, coronavirus has been transmitted from one apartment to another within a residential building. This was also seen in the 2002 SARS epidemic. At that time, faulty plumbing allowed virus-containing fecal matter originating from one person's apartment to drift from drainage pipes back into fixtures like sinks and toilets within other apartments in the same building. Not only did this create a terrible smell, but it also allowed the virus-containing droplets to deposit on bathroom surfaces, ultimately causing people in those apartments to get ill. Something similar may have happened with COVID-19, and this is being actively investigated. Once a person is infected, symptoms develop an average of five days later. This is called the incubation period. However, the incubation period varies from person to person, and in some studies, it's lasted as long as 24 days. Now, there's debate about whether or not asymptomatic people can spread the disease because these people typically have low levels of circulating virus. But even if they do, asymptomatic transmission likely plays a minor role in the overall epidemic. Viruses are given a reproductive number, or r naught, based on how quickly they spread. And person-to-person -person transmission has been confirmed both in and outside of China. An r naught of 1 means that an infected person passes it on to one new person. An r naught of 2 means that one person spreads it to two new people, one, and two, so three. forth. Oh, good lord. If the r naught is below 1, the infection peters out. If it's 1, it stays steady. And if it's above one, then it continues to spread. The current estimate of the SARS-CoV-2 R0 is between 2 and 2.5. Of course, that's an average, with some spreading the disease less, and others, called super spreaders, spreading the disease at a much, much super higher rate. Super spreaders! Super spreaders! The exact cause of super these super spreaders. spreaders is unclear. Perhaps they're just in contact with more folks. Perhaps their bodies naturally shed more virus. Or perhaps there is some other reason altogether. Super. To confirm the diagnosis, there should be a real-time polymerase chain reaction, or RT-PCR test, which is a quick test used in many labs and hospitals that can detect very small amounts of viral RNA. Oh, good. Treatment is focused on supportive care, providing fluids, oxygen, and ventilatory support for really ill people. There's also some early data showing that three medications are highly effective against SARS-CoV-2 in the laboratory setting. 
These medications are chloroquine, an anti-malarial drug, ritonavir, an anti-HIV medication, and remdesivir, an antiviral drug previously used against Ebola. Remdesivir was given to the first U.S. patient with COVID-19 on day 11 of his illness as he was clinically worsening, and he began to improve the very next day. Large-scale clinical trials using remdesivir are already underway in China. Unfortunately, there is no vaccine currently available to protect against COVID-19. At best, it looks like a vaccine will be many months away. So fortunate. So, for now, the goal is to avoid human-to-human transmission, starting with isolating people with COVID-19. Coronaviruses what. don't usually spread over long distances in the air, but they can travel roughly three feet, or one meter, from one person to another on tiny droplets of saliva, which are produced when someone's coughing or sneezing. In addition, some strains of coronavirus can survive on surfaces for over a day. Ooh. With that in mind, if you're a healthy person living in a non-outbreak area, the recommendation is to avoid travel to disease outbreak areas, generally stay away from crowded places, and stay at least six feet or two meters away from anyone with symptoms. I don't even like people. Wearing a surgical mask is not recommended because the general risk of getting COVID-19 in these settings is so low. As always, careful hand washing is the key, and Heather. it should be done with soap or alcohol-based hand sanitizers and scrubbing. Also, avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth. This area is known as your T-zone, and it's a common entry point for viruses into the body. All right. For healthcare workers who are around people with COVID-19, the recommendation is to apply droplet and contact precautions. That includes wearing personal protective equipment like a clean, dry surgical mask, gloves, long-sleeved gowns, and eye protection like goggles or a face shield. Like when performing a procedure that generates aerosol, like tracheal intubation, bronchoscopy, CPR, or non-invasive ventilation, it's important to wear an N95 respirator. This prevents 95% of the small particles, like respiratory droplets, from passing through. Put that All right, on your beak. a quick recap. The SARS-CoV-2 virus causes a respiratory disease called COVID-19. Yeah. The virus probably originated from bats, and then went to pangolins as an intermediate host, and finally, to humans. The virus Wait, travels in respiratory droplets and enters the body via the mouth, nose, or eyes. Once yeah. inside the body, it replicates in the respiratory system, causing symptoms like fever, cough, and shortness of breath. Mm -hmm. Some people might develop more dangerous complications, like oh. pneumonia, ARDS, and shock. Oh, Treatments sure. are focused on supportive care but certain medications like remdesivir are currently in clinical trials. In the meantime, the best strategy is prevention. This includes careful hand washing, avoiding traveling to disease outbreak areas and crowded places when possible, avoid touching your T-zone, and if you're a healthcare worker, using personal protective equipment. I always try to be personally protective and keep my T-zone to myself. Good. I'm glad. But now, thank you so much. That was really informative. No, that was a good really video. Good. There's people that are working yeah. hard. Yeah, you you actually pulled a really good video. That was a good one, Walter. Well, I, that's what I do. Yeah. I work in law enforcement, and I care about the community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm I'm glad, man. It was. I learned a lot, man. I was really stuck on that. Uh, but I gotta yeah. flap off. Okay, well then well, we're gonna say good night. So many lives to save. I just gotta go. Yeah. So we're it gonna was get really going nice here. to talk to you, Mister Bone. Yeah, absolutely. And, oh. and, and we'll have you back on the show. Oh, of I'm course, sure. because if I, I'll either be back or we're all gonna die. I I don't think that's the case. Well, but we'll probably be fine. Yeah, we'll we'll be okay. We'll probably be all right. All right. Well, we're gonna head out. Um, probably do a little tune while we're leaving and. Uh, Thanks for watching. We're going to have a little bit more uh, probably later this evening. Um, so stay tuned and uh, have a good night and a safe, safe, clean, clean night with everybody. Make sure that you wash your your loving partner with a Clorox wipe before you kiss them. Yes, yes, yes. Love is still there, but... Uh, Love you all. Oh, wrap yourself in plastic wrap. Yes.
Let's go. Let's go. Whoa. Oh. Don't flap around with this virus. Look yourself in the eye. Mm, yeah, that's good. With your eyebrows.